Tennessee, certainly no stranger to flooding. Tragically, we've lost dozens of lives this year because of it. And now the National Weather Service is in the process of updating their warning system to save lives. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us in the newsroom with more information on these improvements. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Amy and Ben. So they're trying to make it less complicated, so that's why they want to update their alert system because sometimes the wording can be a little confusing. Now, the alert system they have in place, they've had it since the 1950s, so they feel like it's time for an upgrade. Now, since then, the watch warning and advisory alerts have been sent out during events like flash flooding, tornadoes, hurricanes, and severe thunderstorms. They're meant to let people know how intense the storm can be, but the term advisory is often misinterpreted. Now, we've seen these alerts a lot recently during the flooding event in Waverly and even most recently this past week across the mid-state due to all that rainfall. Now, the National Weather Service is working to replace that advisory headline with something else like hazard or instead just using a sentence to describe conditions. Now, this is all a part of the Hazard Simplification Project, which was created to better understand the social impact of weather and water events. You shouldn't have to use a dictionary during a weather or water event <laughs> to figure out what you need to do. With a more clear, concise, simple um, system, alerting system, our hope is that it allows people to take quick action, to know immediately what they should be doing, what they're facing, and ultimately result in you know, lives, lives and property saved. Now, the National Weather Service, they have been speaking with the public to find out what they want, and they expect the new alert system to be in place by the year 2024. Reporting in the newsroom, Erin Kentrell, News Channel 5.